finding current in the parallel circuit. So this is a parallel circuit, a parallel circuit. So again, we assume that there is no internal resistance and therefore the potential difference is equal to the EMF. Huh? So if the EMF is equal to 3 volt, uh, this is 3 volt. If you connect the volt meter here, this is also 3 volt. And how about if we connect the volt meter here? What's the potential difference? Yes, can any of you tell me? If this is 3 volt, eh? so if we connect the volt meter here, 3 volt, eh? okay, 3 volt. So therefore, if they ask you to find the currents, eh? okay, then I1 is equal to E, eh? this is the EMF, 3 volts divided by now because this one just across the uh, r1 resistor the first resistor so the the resistance is r1 only yeah okay don't put r1 plus r2 eh? okay just r1 only i2 i2 eh? okay so if you put your volt meter here you will still get three volt eh? you still get three volts okay so i2 is also equals to e the emf divided by resistance r2 so this one example seven tell me what's your answer for a and b So this answer, this answer, okay, A is 1.5 ampere and uh, B uh, for R, uh, this uh, current that pass through R1 is 1 ampere, okay, and current that, pass, current that passes through R2 is equal to 0 0.5 ampere. How to do this, eh? how to do this? Okay, now if you want to use uh, V equals IR, okay, so then you must know what's the two point that you choose for your potential difference, right? So let's say we choose this two point. This two point, yeah. That is for us to find for us to find the readings of the emitter because we know that the current here and the current here is the same, eh? okay. So then we choose this point and this point. You cannot choose this point and this point, yeah? okay, because here the current here is not equal to the current here, okay. They are not the same. Eh? So if you find the current here, then uh, that is not the readings of the emitter. So we choose this point and this point, okay. And we know that for these two points, the potential difference is three volt. Okay, the potential difference is 3 volt. Eh? Then how about the resistance? The resistance between these two points. Okay, this is a parallel circuit. Eh? Parallel circuit. And the resistance can be uh, can be found by using this way. Okay, these e equations. Eh? Okay, R equals to reciprocal 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6. Eh? And uh, it's equal to 2 ohm. So the resistance between these two points is 2 ohm. Eh? And the potential difference is 3 volts. So I equals to uh, V over R. Eh? Okay, from these equations, V equals to IR. Okay, V equals to IR. V equals to IR. Okay, so therefore I equals to V over R. So uh, V is three and R is two. Is two uh, okay, so it's one point five ampere. That's how we find the readings of the emitter. Now to find the current in each resistor, uh, then we choose. We choose. Let me see. Okay, we choose this point for I1 uh, and we choose this, these two points for I2 uh, the V here and also the V here okay so for parallel circuit uh, if this is 3 volt this is 3 volt this also 3 volt here also 3 volt eh? okay so for R1 the resistance is 3 ohm 3 divided by 3 1 ampere and for R2 uh, 3 divided by 6 uh, 0 0.5 ampere uh, from here you can see that uh, this two uh, the sum of these two must be equal to this one eh? 1.5 ampere let me show you okay so if the current here is 1.5 ampere okay so when he, it come to this point it will split okay it will split and a 1 ampere go up and a 0 0.5 ampere go down but these two when you add together then it must be equal to this 1.5 ampere so you can use this to check your answer okay 1 ampere 0 0.5 add together oh 1.5 then uh, then it, this, this is correct if you don't like this method, then you can also find these two first. Okay, find the current here and the current here, and then uh, this plus this, it will, it will be equal to the readings of the emitter. You can also do this. Okay, example eight. So find the readings of A1, A2, and A. Yeah? Okay, let's say this is the readings of A1, this is readings of A2, and this is readings of A. Uh, so I1. I1 is equal to uh, the V over. R1 right okay and uh, the V is 6 volt and the R1 is uh, 6 ohm uh, okay so this is equal to 1 ampere uh, I2 also the same uh, V over R2 R2 okay 
uh, it's also 6 volt over 6 ohm 1 ampere okay now uh, from here then you should know that eh? so this is 1 ampere this is 1 ampere and this is also 1 ampere now at this point eh, okay this this 1 ampere it will join okay it will join at this point and then it will become 2 ampere here this 2 ampere and this 1 ampere it will join together okay join together and then it will become 3 ampere here 3 ampere at this point okay so therefore the reading eh, the readings of this uh, emitter a eh, will be uh, 3 ampere is equals to 1 ampere plus 1 ampere 1 ampere plus uh, 1 ampere okay which is equals to 3 ampere now if you don't like this method if you don't like this method fine you can use another one so the another method sounds like this eh? uh, let's erase this so another method is like this eh? so you, let's say you choose this two point this point and this point eh? okay for your v eh? so then your v is equal to uh, six volt okay now for this two point the effective what's what's the effective resistance for this two point uh two that's correct it's two uh, two ohms okay because this is a parallel circuit uh, parallel circuit uh the resistance r is equal to uh six ohm divided by three uh, which is equal to two ohm okay or you can use this formula okay one over six plus one over six plus one over six reciprocal you will still get two ohm and uh, the v is equals to six volt eh? therefore the current i equal to six divided by two which is equals to three ampere 